Hi everyone, so welcome to Big Single Values. So today I want to talk about NEO and NEO is flying. Look at the stock price here. Back in May the stock was around the three dollar zone. Um and then now we look at the stock price right now and it's twenty one dollars and eighteen cents. Can you imagine how much of those gains have just accrued in the last few months? And it gives this company a valuation of about twenty five point eight nine billion dollars which is in my sense you know in my view it's kind of fairly valuing it right now but it's got it's growing at such a good pace that i just see in the next few months that the stock price has so much more room to head um so if we go back to my past video of neo where the stock price was about five dollars and sixty cents and i thought at the time it was worth ten dollars because it was only starting to prove what it was doing um, in terms of growing its vehicle deliveries. Uh, we fast forward many months forward and then we look at the September uh, month and I've done 4,708 cars in delivery and that's 133% up from the prior year. Uh, we look at the third quarter results, they delivered 12,206 vehicles which is extremely good and it is 154% up on a prior year bringing the total vehicles delivered this year to 26,375 so if we look at uh, the past results and then we look at the third quarter of 2019 they delivered 4,799 vehicles and as we kind of look at this trend um, from Q1 to Q2 to Q3, um, generally there's increases. Uh, Q3 is generally meant to be the second best quarter. And then we have quarter four, which is meant to be the best, best quarter. So we're looking at the next quarter and thinking they have the possibility of doing maybe 15,000 to 20,000 vehicles and deliveries. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't write them off in saying they wouldn't be able to reach that considering how they've managed to double these last few quarters. Though this is a much larger number that they had to deliver to. But if they can, I think they will justify my valuation of about $30 once they reach quarter four and they deliver on those results. Um, so... If we look about what what thirty dollars mean, um, it would just be shy of about fifty percent um, increase in the stock price, um, and I think it is going to be fairly justified, um, given um, the current track record they have. So we look at Tesla. Tesla for the third quarter results delivered one hundred thirty nine thousand three hundred vehicles. Mind you, Tesla is valued about close to four hundred billion dollars. So if we look at Nick Neo and we kind of value it on about even on one tenth of the, those results, um, there's probably looking about at least over that thirty billion on mark, if not about thirty five billion um, in terms of valuation. Uh, and you have Tesla delivering about five hundred thousand vehicles, whereas if Neo hits their targets. They're likely to be around 40,000 vehicles deliveries for the, the whole year of 2020. Um, but the one thing that impresses me most is um, just, the, just the speed they're reaching the market and the built and the scaling their manufacturing. So if we look at Tesla and this is their past uh, deliveries. Um, probably last year we were looking at um neo in the in the space of about what tesla was in 2013 uh we're looking at neo right now and they're more in the sense of tesla when it was in two thousand in 2015 um and you can kind of see here uh third quarter results tesla in 2015 delivered 11,600 cars and in q4 which apparently is just the strongest quarter for every car company um, Tesla delivered 17,000 vehicles, which Neo might do a similar amount in Q, um, Q4. So I would say um, Neo is doing pretty well in terms of a time kind of sense that it's got it's what's taken Tesla two years to do. Um, it's taken them just one year to do. 
Um, so in that sense, you know, they're doing very, very well. Um, if, like, if we look at the results for next year and go, uh, are they likely to do what Tesla does in the and what they did in 2016, um, it's it's very, very likely that they will, um, uh, which will continue to boost the valuation much higher, um, and that's the thing, uh, as long as you have more car deliveries, uh, your valuation keeps going up, because you're proving you can get sales, your vehicles are gaining traction in the market, um, and it's a sign towards probability, though as Tesla's proven, um, it's probably going to take Neo another few years before they hit profitability. Um, Tesla didn't get a profitable quarter until its later years, and it's it's only starting to be a profitable company in 2020. So I think it's going to take Neo a while longer. Though right now they have the cash to burn, so it's not a big problem. Um, so as we kind of uh, look at each Neo quarter, we'll probably just closely compare it with Tesla and then see how it matches up in terms of its speed to market, how well it scales, how well its vehicles are selling, um, and then from the end we kind of gauge kind of evaluation that we want um, for a company like this. Uh, if we look at this kind of company um, and go in terms of like competitors, um, I think Neo ranks uh, probably second in terms of how well it does uh, in terms of EV vehicles because if I look at many of the other EVs around the world I don't really see them posing the biggest challenge to Tesla like there's always these articles always these you know uh, Tesla killers but I don't think there's really a Tesla killer I think they're like the Apple um, of cars, and they're just going to do so well in the next five years, um, hence why, you know, like, it's not really a bad thing to buy Tesla stock, even though it's kind of overvalued at the current stage, uh, it, as Elon Musk said it, you know, um, he doesn't see the, he, he, he sees, um, this, his, the Tesla share price being worth more in the next five years, like, he sees it undervalued in the future, but overvalued in the short term. Um, so that's the thing. We don't. If you if you're in the sh if you're in these companies for the short term, then maybe you might feel like you're paying a bit over the odds. Uh, but the good thing about Neo is I don't think you're paying over the odds. I think you're paying fair value at the current situation. Um, and if they continue to perform, I think their valuation is just going to continue to grow as well. And the one thing Tesla's done so well is they've educated the market. They've brought the market to speed in terms of EVs, um, and companies like Neo just really benefit off that. And yeah, like I think there's so much um, room to for all these companies to do well that Neo will do well, uh, even if Tesla does well itself. So uh, when you look at a company like Tesla, um, they're selling really well in China. A quarter of their vehicle sales are in China. And even though they're selling that well in China, uh, Neo is still gaining so much ground. That really shows that this company can hold its own in the future as well. So when I look at this company, I think it's going to continue in growth and deliveries. Um, and I think its valuation is just going to continue to increase. And it is a very good company to hold in the future. Um, of course, they still have to keep delivering. Um, but so far, I'm pretty impressed, and I've recently just uh, released their vehicle, the EC6, which is pretty nice. So, um, okay, so something about this website is not not working the way I... Hmm. Okay, weird. Alright, but anyway, um, they've just released the EC6, and they've only done a few deliveries so far. But I think they will continue to do very well going forward um, when it comes to selling. Like currently the EC6 is the best seller. Uh, followed by ES6 e uh, e uh, is the best seller. And then followed by ES8. And then EC6 is... Um, yeah, it's following close... It will 
probably follow closely behind the ES8 because it is a very nice looking car. I think demand will increase as time goes. Um, so yeah, I think we'll have to watch how things go, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are because this company does look pretty interesting. Um, and especially the stuff it's doing. Um, I like the designs, I like the tech. Um, they're in the right markets and so far they're performing really well. So I think going forward, I think the share price is just going to continue to grow in value. And until then, good luck investing everyone.